Hello, boys and girls. I have another story for you. Today, however, is kind of a sad story. So, um, I just want to prepare you um, because the story is about a little boy who's lost someone and what it's like to go through that. So, um, parents, if you maybe want to sit with your child during this story time and just kind of go with them through it, I'm going to go slow and you can pause it and explain things that might um, be happening. Um, yeah, so you, you take it how you think that you see best for your child. Okay. This is called The Boy and the Gorilla. Yeah. And we see there's a gorilla here. And we kind of see there's a boy and his father right here. Okay. Now, this first page shows a lot of shadowy pictures. So there's the gorilla here. And there's all these trees and shadows and all these people that are walking and they're in dark colors and shadows. And here's the son and the father. And I think they're going to a funeral. But then we see a little red bird here. And this red bird shows up throughout the story. So we just keep an eye for this little bird. And I think that it means something significant, but... I'll just have you keep an eye on it. So this, um, with the first page being the funeral, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is um, the after funeral, which is sometimes called um, the wake. And this would be either at their house or at a church or another building. But it, this looks like it's their house because... As you can see, there's a picture, there's a photograph of their family. It looks like the father, the mom, and the son, and they're all three flying a kite. They each have their own kite. So there's a red one, a blue one, and a green one. And the father and son are sitting together, but they're not really touching or talking, and the father's even looking away. But the gorilla is here, if you notice. He's here. Um... Now, I do want to point out that the gorilla is imaginary. He's not actually there. He's in the boy's imagination. Kind of as a symbol of the sadness that he's going through. So we'll see how that goes. So in the background here, you can see that it looks like the funeral, um, the wake is still going on. That there's still people at the house, but he's gone outside. Maybe he's too sad. So um, the gorilla comes and he says, Your mother's garden is beautiful. May I help? Okay. It looks like he's got some beautiful red flowers here or maybe some berries, tomatoes. Maybe they're tomatoes. My mom died. I know. How do you know when someone dies? A person's body stops working. Like their heartbeat? Yes. You see the red bird is up here in the window. And the dad's still facing away from the sun and he's doing dishes. He's not really focusing on what's going on with his son. But the son is dealing with his sadness with this imaginary gorilla. Where did mom go? No one knows for sure. Maybe mom's here. She liked the waves. So they're at the beach. But see how the sun is way back here. He's got his kite dragging. It's not even, he's not even trying to fly it. It's just dragging. And the gorilla is here in front of him. But then the father is way up here and he's dragging his kite as well. 
he's kind of sad in his own way and he doesn't want to engage with anyone else. Sometimes we have to do that in grief, in our deep sadness. So here we have the boy again. He's sitting on the swing with the gorilla. But his father is sitting over here and he's kind of looking at the ground. He's not engaging with anyone, not even his son. Can't my mom come back home? No, but she's always with you. And then we see the little red bird here in the tree. You see, all the kids are having fun, and he's just sitting here quietly by himself. I wish my mom was here to read to me. It's a good story. Your father might like this book, too. There, see, his sadness, his grief gorilla is encouraging him to talk to his dad and ask him to read a story like his mom used to. I like mom's pancakes better. He's sitting on the bus, I think. And there's his dad. Sometimes I want to be alone. That's all right. Everyone needs quiet time. See, all the class is gathered over here, but he's sitting over here by himself for a bit. That's okay. Like the gorilla said, it's okay. Everyone needs quiet time. I'm going to climb to the top. Maybe mom will be there. I'm right behind you. Okay, so there he is. He's all excited. He's climbing to the top. He's going to look for his mom. Why did she have to die? All living things die. It hurts not to be able to be with someone we love. And then here, there's a tree. You can kind of see there's the red bird. When will I feel better? When you know she's still with you. Mom and I loved baseball. That's it. She's with you when you play. You mean like baking mom's special cookies? Yes. Each bite is a memory. Or picking daisies from mom's garden? Mm, yes, the seeds you planted together are like your mother's love, a gift to keep forever. Okay, and then we see the gorilla is kind of stepping back as the boy approaches his father's room. It looks like the dad's crying. He's got a flower in his hand and he says, Dad. But see here, it's the red bird. I miss mom. Look, for the first time, his dad's looking at him and paying attention and realizing that they're in this together. They don't have to be alone, they have each other. Even though it's hard. Oh. Looks like we're missing one page, there we go. Okay, so then they hug each other and the grief gorilla, the sadness gorilla, is sitting with them and embracing them. 
It's what they both needed. And then they're sitting together looking at, I think, a photo album here. As you can see the gorilla in the background. He stepped out of place. Mom had a funny laugh. She told the best jokes. I miss your mother too. See, now this voice is actually replaced with his father. And here again, we see the red bird. Then the gorilla is in the background again. He's playing with a butterfly. And there's the red bird. But I can see her in your smile. Mom will like her new flowers. See, they're planting some beautiful flowers. And then they're holding hands as opposed to the beginning of the book when they were separate and walking slowly. They're holding hands and walking back to their house. And you can see a red bird flying away in the distance. And you can also see the, the sadness gorilla walking away in the distance as well. Because now they have each other to lean on, to work on together, their sadness. And there again, we see the red bird flying away. Now, my thought is that the red bird is a symbol of his mother and how she's always there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why at the end the bird flies away, if she's the picture of the mother. But when you lose someone, they take a piece of your heart too because they love you so much and because you love them so much. And it's hard to imagine that you can have life without them, but it is possible. And there are many things that you can learn about yourself, um, about others when you lose someone. Believe me, I know I've, I've lost many people, um, some very close to me and some not that close, but still impacted me. If you have lost someone, I encourage you to talk to someone that you love, an adult, a grandmother, a grandfather, an older brother or sister, or an aunt or an uncle, someone that you trust. It's okay to share your feelings, and it's okay to want to be alone, and it's okay to be sad. So I just want you to know these things. And know that God loves you and he sees you in your sadness. And he is close to those who are broken hearted. So I hope this book and our little talk encourages you. And I hope that you can find a way to smile today. If you're interested in more stories, I hope you push the subscribe button and ring the bell. So you get a notification every time there's a new story. Boys and girls, I look forward to this so much. Bye-bye.